building the Atlas Snow Arch greenhouse. Step one is to set the four corners. I'm moving the greenhouse about maybe about five feet closer to the house and away from that barn because that barn's coming down behind there. It's already in really bad shape and this over here is going to be the new barn. All right, uh, I've got it laid out. This is a 30 by 96 foot greenhouse. The uh, 96 is running that way the 30 is this way uh, what you have to do to make sure it's square is to get this 96 going this way this 30 feet going this way and this 100 feet six well almost 100 feet and almost seven inches going diagonally and it's the hypotenuse if you get both of those diagonals at exactly the same length you're square and uh, that's where we are right now. All right, tubers, you're gonna witness it right here. The build actually really begins now. I never thought this day was actually gonna make it. Uh, but uh, it's here. Oh, and all, as always, um, I'm not too pretty to look at, so just kind of look over me. I've been out here working all day, and I'm not so hot anyway, so... Um, Overlook that part and just enjoy the uh, the build. As if you hadn't already figured that out, this is going to take forever. This old clay is hard as, as it can be. It's almost like concrete, so uh, I'm not going to bore you with all that. It took me like three hours to do seven fence posts, so this is going to take some time. Digging the hole is about 30, 32 inches deep. I've got the uh, four corners done. I'm going back. Uh, this first one I started digging, I knew it was going to be the toughest. I'm going back to that and I got to make it a little deeper. I got those down there done. And uh, I've marked them out each spot with a little white paint. Uh, you can see the string. I strung the string from that corner all the way to this one nice and taut make sure I have a straight line and measured off every four feet so I'll be drilling the holes there next all 
That is the end of day one. A little better than half of this row drilled and the four corners. Back tomorrow. Alright tubers. This is uh, still part one of the build foundation and ground posts. See I've got all my holes dug. I've set my corner posts and I believe I've showed you that in another video how you do the di diagonals make sure that there's it's square if those if what's comes from that corner to the one over uh, on this side is the same as from that corner to this side you have it square and we're all square and now what I'm doing is lining up the strings to guide me into those post holes to make sure that I am straight now you see I have one one inch from the top over here going that way and one coming this way and I also have them at the bottom along the sides to keep me straight and I'll show you what I'm doing with that over here All right, this is where I'm working right now you'll see I have a this is a level it's a string level and if you look at it right and it's now it's almost dead center in the middle of the bubble so that's good and level all the way from one end to the other so what I'm going to do is line up the top post one inch from that, that string, as you can see, I'm, I've done here. This is the side I'm working on now. That's approximately where it is. It's actually, I measured down one inch, and that line's going to rest right on that one inch line that I've marked with a, a marker. Also making sure that the level is... The, the pole is level straight up and down, going that way and that way. All right, you, you gotta be square. It's, it's more important to be level going from side to side on the front and the back than it is to go the length. Um, so I've leveled that up as well. It's gotta be level, that keeps both sides level so that your your structure is completely level and you'll see I'm in the middle with that as well each hole is approximately 28 to 30 inches deep and the poles are posts are driven down into the dirt well pretty good ways they have to be 32 inches down and one of the things that um, this greenhouse has it the others other didn't these, these are carriage bolts they go through the bottom hole and each post has paint on the bottom yellow paint this carriage bolt goes through the bottom hole and you bend it I just take the sledgehammer and bend it a little bit because when it goes down in the hole concrete sits on top of the bolt and the concrete, I found out, is not mainly for, for structure, for the snow, or anything like that. It's mainly for uplift. If, the, if you get a lot of high winds, um, you don't want that pole pulling out. The concrete will hold it in. And here is one side of the greenhouse. All the posts are in. We're level. These are ready to set the concrete. Daniel, David, and I will finish pounding these stakes in, and that's the way you do it. Um, pounding it in by hand. I don't have a, uh, a a driver of any kind other than that sledge, and just brute force. We're pounding those things down in there. We should get. They got 19 to go. We should get that done today. And here's another view. You can see the string and how it lines up with the top of the posts and the bottom. You can see that it just barely touches or just off off of the um, posts at the bottom to keep them good and straight. That way the hat base uh, will bolt up properly. Each one of these posts are four feet apart. That's not as easy as it might seem when you're digging a hole almost 10 inches wide. But um, you'll see how that kind of sits at an angle 
when you push down it doesn't always go exactly where you want it um, but that's what I had to use and we made it work everything's good Make sure you look down in the holes. I should have done it before I did start on this, but it, fortunately it worked out. This little frog was trapped. He had fallen in the hole. And we'll let him go. That's how it works. I think you get the gist, it's a lot of work. Good old fashioned brute force. working out at the gym, isn't it? Hi, Tracy. That's it. It's on the line. Thanks, Daniel.
Another one bites the dust. All right, tubers. We've got it done. Each side. Four feet apart. 38 inches down. I will correct that from my remark from earlier. It's where I said it went down 32 inches. It's 38 inches down. All of the ground posts are in. All I got to do now is concrete it. Put my start sanding up my structure. God bless. Y'all playing some dirt. And what do we say? We'll see you next time. See you next time. Take care, y'all. Bye.